Hello all you people out there, my name is Akira and welcome back to this let's play of Doki Doki Literature Club. And we are on the day three poem that we have to make, so let's just um, do this as we can. Oh, Momo is here too by the way. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot you. So, uh, but we, we will take turns in uh, picking out the things as the last time, so I have to start again. So I will take... Existence. I'll take incapable. I will take jumpy. Then I'll take extreme. Doki Doki, of course. <laughs> what is this there? <laughs> then I'll take hope. Then I will take. Um. Judgment. Then I'll take fling. I will take nature. I take inferno. I think we're going to get her. <laughs> um, vivid. Did it. Mm, anime. Um, kawaii. Kawaii. Take cry. I'll take um, treasure. Mm, then I'll take sucks. <laughs> sucks. <laughs> I will take um, middle economy. Then I'll take. I will take pink. pink. And the last word will be silly. Oh man, I'm the last one here again. Don't worry, I just rocked in two. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. Starting this club and now picking up piano? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. Remember that the club wouldn't be here if it wasn't for all of you. And I'm super happy that you're all willing to help out for the festival too. Ah, I can't wait for the festival. It's gonna be great. Yeah? Weren't you complaining about it yesterday, Natsuki? Well, yeah. I'm not talking about our part of the festival, but the whole day of school where we get to play and eat all kinds of delicious food. It sounds a bit like Sayuri all of a sudden. Monica, do they usually have fried squid? Squid? That's a pretty specific thing to look forward to. Oh, come on. Are you saying you don't like squid? You of all people. Yeah, I didn't say I didn't. Uh, I didn't say I don't like it. Besides, what do you mean, you of all people? Because it's right in your name, Mon Ika. Yeah, that's not how you say my name at all. Also, that joke doesn't make <laughs> makes no sense in translation. <laughs> yeah? uh, never mind. <laughs> Let's just focus on our own event for now, okay? <laughs> fine, fine. Your reactions aren't as fun as Yuri's or Sayori's anyway. Excuse me? Where is Sayori anyway? Oh, there you are. Sayori is sitting at a desk in the corner of the room, looking down at nothing. I walked over to her. Hey, Sayori? I wave my hand in front of her face. Huh? You're spacing out again. Ah, ah. <laughs> sorry. Don't mind me. You can go talk to everyone else. Huh? Is everything alright? Uh, of course. Why wouldn't it be? It just feels like you're a little 
of sorry for assuming things. Geez, you worry too much about me. I'm fine, see? Sawyer so shows me a big smile. Don't let me distract you from having fun with everyone. Well, alright. If you say so. I rarely glance at Sayuri before turning back toward everyone else. But the conversation has already disrupted, we then are back at the usual activities. Maybe I should ask Monica if she's noticed anything about Sayuri recently. Since they've been preparing for the festival, they must be spending a lot of time together. I gently approach Monica, who is uh, shuffling, shuffling through some papers at her desk. New kid, what's up? Hey, this might sound a little strange, but have you noticed anything up with Sayori recently? Anything up with her? In what way do you mean? Maybe I'm reading into it a little too much, but she seems a bit downcast today. Oh, you think so? I can't say I've noticed anything about her. Monica peers across the room at Sayori who is idle uh, dragging at rubber eraser up and down her desk. Maybe there is something on her mind. But I'm surprised I'm not the one asking you, new kid. You certainly know her a lot better than I do. Yeah, but she's never really liked this. She's already talked to me about things that bothers her. But this time, when I asked her, she was really dismissing. Missive. Sorry, I know it's not your problem. I just wanted to ask if you know anything, so I drop it now. No, no. It's important to me too. I mean, I'm also friends with her. And I also care about the well-being of my club members, you know? Maybe I'll try talking to her myself. Eh, uh, are you sure about that? She seems like she wanted to be left alone. Are you sure? Maybe she just has a hard time bringing it, uh, bringing it, bringing it up with the person of interest. Person of interest? What do you mean by that? I'm saying that maybe the one thing on her mind is you, new kid. Me? How on earth would you come up with that conclusion? Well, I probably shouldn't say too much, but Sayori talks about you more. Uh, more than anything else, you know? Huh? She's been so much happier ever since you joined the club. It's like an extra light has turned on inside of her. What? No way. So, it's always like that. She's always been full of sunshine. It's not any different now than it always has been. <laughs> You're so funny, new kid. Have you thought maybe you've always seen her as so cheerful? Because that's just how she is when she's around you? Mm. Ah, I said too much. I'm sorry. What do I know anyway? I didn't mean to jump to any conclusions, so you should just forget about what I said. I'll try to talk to her, so try not to think about it for now. Uh. All right. Monica smiles uh, meaningfully. I know she said to forget about it, but I already know that it won't be able to get the w her words out of my head. Monica stands up from her desk and walks across the room to where Sayori is sitting. I watch her kneel down next to Sayori and gently talk to her, but she see but she's keeping her voice so quiet that I can't hear. Uh, that I can't hear from here. I sighed and sit myself down. I know she really uh, told me not to worry about her and to have fun with everyone else, but that's impossible to do when she's behaving like this. Exactly how much do I care about her that I'm letting this weight me down so much? Now that now it feels like I'm the one behaving out of the ordinary, but there's nothing I can do besides wait uh, for Monica. Hey you! 
Huh? I look up and see Natsuki next to me. Are you just gonna sit there and keep staring at nothing? There isn't that much time, so... Uh, sorry. I didn't mean to make you worry or anything. It, it's not like I'm worried. I was just... Natsuki glanced down at her side. She's holding a volume of the manga in her hand. That's right. Something's just come up uh, for a minute, but we can get started now. I won't make you wait any longer. Jeez. Now you're making me feel like a jerk. If something's following you, then you can just tell me to leave you alone and I will. I mean, assuming you didn't feel like talking about it or anything. It's particularly mumbling the last part. Nah, I'm probably making it seem like a bigger deal than it is. I've just been thinking about Sayori, that's all. S Sayori? Thinking about her? Yeah, she seems pretty down today. But she didn't want to admit it to me. So I can't help but wonder if something happened to her. Oh. Natsuki exhales. Well, first of all... You should really work on your phrasing. But anyway, you're her best friend, right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, then in that case, I think you should trust her a little more. If she needed you, then uh, you would be the first person she would go to, right? Well, I guess that's true. I mean, some people just have those days. You can't always avoid it. If anything, she probably doesn't want you to worry about her, because it's not important. Yeah, that's kind of what she said to me. Maybe it's not maybe it's not right for me to be going against her wishes. Exactly. If she needs you uh, if she needs you to worry about her, then it'll be a lot more obvious. Yeah. I should have thought it that way from the start. Natsuki fiddles with a book she's holding in her hand. She... She really means a lot to you, doesn't she? Uh... Don't get the wrong idea or anything. We've just been here, been friends for a long time. It's normal to be worried about your friends. I mean, you were worried about me, so... I was not! Jeez, if you're fine, then let's hurry and get started already. Yeah, yeah. Okay, everyone. After some time passes, Monica calls out to the club room. Why don't we share our poems now? Before I knew it, everyone is back to normal. Everyone goes to receive their poems, and I do the same. I make eye contact with Monica and she smiles at me. I wonder what she was thinking about with Sayuri. Talking about <laughs> with Sayuri. God dang it. Well, but uh, we will start off by taking Yuri this time. Because we have taken him in a weird way down there. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you kid. You've definitely improved your writing over the course of these few days. Has my advice been helpful to you? Yeah, definitely. I'm glad. Sharing our writing like this, it's a lot more fun and rewarding than I anticipated. I need to remember to thank Monica. I think we all feel a little awkward at, for, uh, at first, but now it seems like everyone is enjoying sharing their writing and seeing what others think. I guess I can't really dis uh, disagree. I was afraid the whole thing would be a, a chore. But it's a great way to meet, uh, for me to spend some personal time with all the girls in the club. But it's been fun getting to know everyone and their writing. And I guess I'm doing some writing myself. Well, have you learned anything about yourself, new kid? Eh? Well, you know how I like to say that writing is a very personal way to get in touch with yourself. In the end, it doesn't matter if you're good at 
uh, if you're a good writer or a bad writer. And even my, uh, even my opinions are just opinions, you know. As always, I believe what's most important is exploring and discovering yourself. That's comforting. I'm kind of a, uh, I'm kind of afraid of disappointing you in some way or another. Hey, why me? Well, you're always sophisticated. You're always sophisticated with your writing and have the most advice to share. Is that so? You think for a good minute. That must be terrible. Eh? For me to have become someone whose opinion is fearsome. How unlikable of me. Yuri? It's not a bad... <laughs> it's not as bad as you're making the sounds in your head. I just meant that I respect your opinion. I see. I'm sorry that I always overthink and come to those sorts of conclusions. I'm just a little too used to it. Overthinking? Being disliked. Yuri? What, what am I saying? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bring that up. Let's move on. Alright. Do you want to share your poem now? Okay. Here. I really like how the music changes. <laughs> okay. Beach. A marvel millions of years in making. Where the womb of earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky. And... Ex expanse of bliss but beneath gray rolling clouds an endless enigma the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found one can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet but where the sand is wet the tide comes will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet, we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles. Where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle and yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary, uh, boundary line. Tempted by the foamy tendrils turn back and I abandon my peace to er erode at the uh, at the shore drift forward and I return to earth for forevermore um I'm aware that the beach is kind of an in inane thing to write about but I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it you say that you, uh, you say that like you didn't. S <laughs> uh, God dang it! You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, what? you haven't heard. After yesterday, Natsuki and I. Well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such a different way. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing style or thought process. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she would want to do something like that. She's, uh, she probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Next up is Monica. Ele Monica. Monica. <laughs> oh, hey new kid. Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well... Being in this club is one thing, 
and by performing in front of a bunch of people. I'll have to give it some more thoughts. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. It's pretty good. It makes me think of uh, makes me think of Sayori, like the other one that you wrote. You two are like the dynamic duo. <laughs> it's just kind of exaggerating it. Yeah, probably. But you do spend a lot of time with her, even in this club, don't you? Then again, I don't blame you for being a little shy. I'm not shy, it's just... <laughs> I'm just teasing. I know it takes a bit more time to make friends with everyone. But Yuri and Natsuki are super interesting people, so don't be afraid to give them their share of time. And you can talk to me every now, now and then too. I'm not like unapproachable or anything, am I? Uh, no, it's nothing like that. I'm just still getting used to being here, that's all. Yeah, I'm sorry if I was putting pressure on you or something. I really didn't mean it like that. No, don't worry. I get what you're saying. Well, alright. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Yeah? Uh, alright. <clears throat> but I've also noticed that the music uh, changes uh, depending on which person it is. Yeah, everyone has their own instrument. Yes, yeah, yes, so piano. Yeah. Funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> Funny enough. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. The lady who knows everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders earth. The lady no. Uh, the lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer, all meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am, a feather. Lost adrift, the, uh, lost adrift the sky, victim of the current of the wind. Day after day, I search, I search with little hope, knowing legend doesn't exist. But when all else failed me, when all other have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the t twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow, I fall, and I fall, and fall, and fall even more, gentle as a feather, a dry quill expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumbs and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amounts to nothing. There is no meaning, there is no purpose, and we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend, your legend does not exist. And with a breath she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. You know, I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give me uh, life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? Ah, uh, yeah, that. <laughs> anyway. Here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something that you put so much into. 
because if you find uh, but if you find other people who enjoy writing then sharing becomes a lot easier because instead of just telling uh, telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on that it's much more encouraging that way and it will make you want to continue improving it's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. And sayori. This is your best one so far. It's really, uh, it's really, really nice, new kid. Eh, uh, thanks. <laughs> sayori, you've been a little cry today. Is everything all right? Hey, of course. Everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want to nap or something? No, that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, all right. Hey, new kid. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you were try uh, you would try to write your poem like the way Yuri does or even Natsuki but in the end yeah I guess <laughs> I guess you're the one who likes uh, this one the most why why don't you get closer with everyone else wait of course I do but that doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayuri. I know you have to sometimes put up with me. And I have to do something to put up with you. But we have a wavelength of something. And this is how the poem came out. Sometimes I feel like you're the only existing thing in my life. Exciting. Exciting. <laughs> Almost the same. <laughs> so sometimes it's just easier to write than thinking about you. Sayori. Mm, no. New kid. I don't deserve this. You're too nice to me. Why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be so much easier. Sayori? I glance around the room and make sure nobody has noticed this. Sayori? I've probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffs and keeps shaking her head. Finally she gathers herself and put on a smile. It's nothing new, kid. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles for, from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm going home a little, er little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, she really cheerfully walks out to the classroom, humming to herself. But I didn't get to read your poem! You cheated me! Oh, actually, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> this one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. It doesn't blow me away. But there's nothing I really hate about it. It's not really my style, I mean, that's fine. Come to think of it, this kind of reminds me of Sayori's poem from yesterday. Uh, you think so? Yeah, well, I guess if you've been friends with her for so long, you might be on the same wavelengths. But... But, <laughs> Sorry. but you never <laughs> stuck me as her type. <laughs> they names they confuse me sometimes when I see them. <laughs> Sayori has a type all of a sudden. 
Well, I don't, I don't know, but honestly, how can someone so, uh, fluffy spend so much time with someone like you? It's like she's dragging around a dead weight. Ugh, that was a little unnecessary. But think of it this way. If it weren't for me, she would probably just fly away like letting go of a balloon. balloon. You could say that we each take care of each other in our own way. Whatever it is, I don't get it. Oh yeah, I guess I'm supposed to show you my poem. Here. I love this music, goddammit. <laughs> I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes, washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that, your daydream, uh, that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury our uh, let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea and let me see your shine. Let's have your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips and lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you day daydream about each day. <laughs> I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me be by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Yeah, I feel like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something that was uh, something with a nice message, message for once. Besides, the beach is awesome. Kind of hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, you takes on it. Uh, you take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's tease. She better not, ha not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really see her doing that too. Making us write about, some, uh, about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being a little... Kind, uh, being kind of metaphorical too, but there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three, we're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a sec. Is, is it just me, or did you just say something strange right now? Huh? Something did sound a little bit unusual. That's right. You've deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is coming for shed. Is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayuri isn't here. Ah, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's, uh, uh, everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run up to anyways? <laughs> I thought she were, uh, she just went to pee. That's cute. Please show some decency. Oh, come on. Uh, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so 
I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times not to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for being all lovey-dovey. What? <laughs> that was not what she said. <laughs> uh, no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with you, Sayuri. What was that? Is that what I said? <laughs> she said so much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Hey? She did say that. Oh. <laughs> I was pretty sure that wasn't it. <laughs> she was so fast. E. And second. She's kind of been avoiding uh, me today, so I didn't want to force it. Hmm. That curious expression coming from you is, of all people. Calm down, Kais. I, uh, I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them in and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted. And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri, Yuri, you can, uh, um, hmm? guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Hi, I'm useless. No, no, that's not it at all. You're the most talented, per talented person here, you know. <laughs> now Natsuki's part, uh, parting too. Jeez. Ah. Jeez, <laughs> even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayuri enough credit, but I can't tell things are even harder if you're uh, on you when she's not around. Ah, uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be uh, be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have a beautiful handwriting, you know? So... You should, uh, you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I, I love atmosphere. Your expression suddenly changes as she start uh, stares at the desk and uh, and focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing. I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, new kid. That one who truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would really appreciate... Uh, I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spent the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give you. It's not like Monica's uh, it's not like Monica is going to give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Now he tries to mumble a bunch of his uses like that. Um, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. New Kate may not like being around you if it only makes him out to be a nuisance. So therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on, I never said that. How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you just, uh, you're just making excuses for new kid to. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. 
and baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to New Kid to decide how he uh, how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... You literally just said! I'm surprised as well. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez. Can we just settle this already? Yeah. New kid, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Eh. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case. It will look straight at me. But of course, I'm going to go with... So many choices. Who you gonna choose? I don't know what Sayuri... Oh, Sayuri and Monica was doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. uh, that was um, ready the banners... Uh, no, the banners pam pamphlets. Of pamphlets. And Yuri was for banners and uh, Natsuki, Natsuki was the baking. Cup cupcakes. So, well, we have, have some uh, times with Natsuki uh, free time events, but we haven't really had anything with Yuri, so I don't know if that's... Uh, uh, and, and Monica, as you said. Mm. But... Um, She's breaking the fourth wall all the time. <laughs> <coughs> God dang it, Monica. Um, I think I will go with Natsuki still, though. Just keep with that trail going. Well, baking size uh, sounds like it could be fun. And you guys made it sound like a lot of work, so I could probably use two people. Don't worry. Baking is a ton of fun. You'll definitely agree. Yeah? Just a minute ago you were saying that... that that's because... Never mind, okay? Well, anyway... You'll be fine by yourself, right, Yuri? Of course. I'm used to it after all. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> Even though Yuri is being melodramatic, it's a little hard to not feel bad. So that's everything, right? Anything else we need to talk about? No, I think that's it. Are you guys excited? Yes! Everything except the performance is gonna be awesome! I don't think that really counts. What about you, new kid? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested in see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Yuri? Yuri? She's still sulking? <laughs> Let's just start uh, pouring too. It's not... I mean, it's not that big of a deal or anything. Well, it might not be just that. Hmm? I think that Yuri might just be feeling a little unappreciated in general. Having to come up with something for her to do, and then nobody offering to help. That doesn't mean... Uh. Naturally it lands back and forth between everyone, with a reverent expression. Look! Naturally goes over and put her hand down on Yuri's shoulder. Yuri, you really are the most talented one here, and... And you're going to help make the event a lot more fun and welcoming. I mean, the cupcakes will probably help a lot too. But you're gonna make the atmosphere special. That'll be really important for the way that people feel during the performances. So, you need to stop being dumb and give yourself a little more credit. Nasuki releases her hand and turns around to face the other direction. Hmm. You didn't really mean that, did you? <laughs> um... Not really, but... Yui isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I uh, also take back on Natsuki's words. Natsuki of all people to be saying such encouraging things. 
but I begin to understand. Natalie was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if I didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something so you would say at a time like this. Because you always help everyone smile and feel good about themselves. I'm sorry for being dumb. I'm going to do my best. And all of us are going to make it really great uh, make a really great event. Yeah. Yeah. I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Okay, but I'm staying here a bit longer. I barely got to do any reading today, so... Fair enough, there's nothing wrong with that. Everyone's pack up their things. I start to follow Monica and Yui out of the door as they chat between each other. Um, where are you going? Um... We still need to figure out our plans for this weekend. You literally would would have gotten home and realized that you didn't have any way to contact me. Uh, oh, that's true. I have no idea how this slipped my mind. Jeez, good thing I stopped you. I'm giving you my number, okay? You'd better not make it uh, make it weird or anything. Why would I do that? That will give me her number. Okay, I'm coming over on Sunday. I'll bring all the ingredients. Wait, you're coming to my house? Well, yeah. What's wrong with that? I mean, I just figured that since I'm the one helping, it would be going to your house. Yeah, right. Like I could have a guy over at my house. My dad would kill me. Really? That's kind of strange. Is if you ask me. Yeah. How do you think I feel? I can't do anything when my dad's home. Anyway, I just needed to complain for a second. We have each other's numbers now. That's all I need from you. I guess I'll text you when I'm coming over. All right. Fine by me. Yeah, I'm really gonna show you why I love baking so much. So you better look forward to it. Uh, didn't you say you were just going to give me the dirty work? Well, I was just saying that. It's not like I could act like in, in front of everyone. That I was looking forward to it. Wait, really? Well, kind of. Just because... I never got to bake with someone else before. That that's all. It is so. All right, I get it. Sorry, we're reacting. Anyway, I'll be heading out now. See you on Sunday. Ah. N never mind. I can't believe this. Natuki is going to be coming to my house on Sunday. My anxiety shoots through the roof, even though I got pretty used to handling her at this point. There's no telling what might end up happening when we are outside of school. More than that, she told me that she was looking forward to it. Is this the chance I have to make something happen between us? Or is it too early to, for that? Only time will tell. But until then... I won't be able to take my mind off it. I seriously can't wait. So that's the end of that thing. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> we will end it off here. Apparently no poem writing for today, but um, it's Sunday. So happy weekend, people. <laughs> so yeah, that was actually a little shorter one than the last. <laughs> a little. <laughs> Bye -bye, a long shot. <laughs> So, but uh, we will continue this um, baking adventure in the next episode. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this one. You can give it a thumb up if you did. You can write a comment down below. You can subscribe for more awesome videos. And I hope you all will have an awesome day. So until next time, farewell. <laughs>